All right. 93 Tango, jump for the left. 93 Tango, Roger. That's all I have. Uh, parachute out for the same Currently, operation uh, for the same airport, the 13,500. <laughs> Currently uh, 10,500 feet, flying by moon. Up the center, Cherokee, Northern California. Uh, just want to make a quick video about oxygen. Cherokee 33009 out the center. Flying general aviation. Yeah, 9.02. And then if you have two pilots, you could buy you could buy one of these, which you you hook this Number up to your tank. Four Charlie Juliet, Oakland, and then you'll hook this up. Uh, this is a splitter. Three, look up each one of these. Right, right now I'm not using this because I'm flying by myself, so you don't need this. But you want to have Number one of these. 2002 to send you the razor arrival west transition. Uh, you're gonna want to get one of these. Send you the razor arrival west. I think it's called the oximeter. Put it on your finger. Yeah, pulse oximeter. I probably want to get two of these, they're only like 20 bucks a piece, but... but Number 11112, outbound center, climbing gain level 210. And it'll tell me my oxygen level. Let's see if it pops up here in a second. Let's see. Showing 89. A minute ago it was 93, but maybe i got to stick my finger in there a little bit better. Also, I'm... I'm only using 0.5 liters per hour. Number 992 Sierra Tango, Oakland Center, radar contact, climb mountain, east, climb mountain, the altimeter is 3011, say again, your type air traffic, put my suffix and destination. I don't really need a huge flow of oxygen, just a tiny bit is fine. If I go below 10, I would actually just turn it off. But, you're supposed to keep your blood oxygen percentage above 90. Right now it's showing 89. Number 2 Sierra Tango, Roger. So, definitely bring one of these along. Uh, and then Number you're, three, three, zero, zero, nine, you're gonna want to have a. Miles north west of you my the first altimeter is three zero one three. Say again, you're just called a regulator. To the and destination. And I have it set to point five right now. That's just a very uh, three, three, low flow of oxygen. Nine, there's a P thirty two flash. It's got this uh, thing on the top where you can nice turn the valve on and up, on and off. Three, 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 zero, nine, inside ready? this thing, there's actually some gaskets and washers. You want to make sure this thing, when you when you attach it to your tank. And you, and you open the main tank valve, you're not going to hear any airflow. If this is to zero, you won't hear any airflow. That's what you want. If you hear airflow, it's leaking. So you're going to need to get a new washer on the side. I'll show you what they look like. Little tiny washers like that. Yeah, you're going to need to get a new washer on the side. Little tiny washers like that. So if you want to bring an extra of those as well. This one is just a tank a valve opener and closer. Uh, this tank doesn't need it because I have this uh, opener here. And I also keep a backup tool in the plane like this to be able to open and close it in an emergency and also I keep this in the plane in case the door handle breaks and I need to get out in an emergency I can use this to open the door Good so that's just a little backup tool you don't want to keep this particular tank is quite small it's only about maybe two feet tall but it's a great portable size I actually recommend this size right here I do have another tank in the back that's twice the, twice the height and that tank uh, will last twice as long, obviously. But as well, it will uh, provide, it provides a backup. So I recommend fly with two tanks, multiple sets of cannulas, two of these, uh, and maybe even a backup regulator. I mean, this stuff is actually quite cheap. Uh, considering the insurance it provides to you as a pilot, it's totally worth it. So I recommend pick up two of these regulators, Two tanks. You can actually pick up a tank like this on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. You know, offer up any of those types of apps. You see a ton of people with these types of uh, 
oxygen tanks. Um, a lot of airports have FEOs where they'll fill up the tank. It might cost you 60 to 100 bucks to fill it up. But if you call around, you'll find uh, places that will fill it for you if you show your pilot certificate. I was able to fill these tanks for 20 bucks a piece, 20 or 30. And uh, that place is actually in Southern California, it's near, uh, I forget the name of the airport, but it's near Brackenfield. Uh, uh, of course, you have, be best with, uh, they'll fill it for you without a uh, doctor's prescription. Did you want to switch to One thing I do recommend is every time you visit your DME, or, uh, yeah, de designated medical examiner for your, you know, first, second, third class medical certificate, ask them for a... Center Frontier 49 uh, for which is 25.5 for two I don't know how else to get one. I've asked a regular doctor, they won't give it to me, so... Uh, maybe ask them to see if it would work, but... Send me the Razor yeah, rule, West Transition. I won't fly over the Sierra Mountains uh, between Vegas and the Bay Area without oxygen. American 2352, I won't fly without it, so... This is a good rule of thumb, and of course... Make sure your blood oxygen is above 90% or close to it. I American 2352, fighting 120. Uh, yeah, if you have questions, feel free to leave American a comment below. I'd be yeah. happy to answer any questions you have. A lot of I have almost 2,000 hours now. Zero. Been three zero. Three zero. Eight, I've flown across these mountain ranges at least 50, 60 times. So I know, you know what you need. And, uh, the hobby is already dangerous enough, so... Definitely get yourself some oxygen. Uh, it's not expensive. Uh, and if you do decide to exit uh, the hobby, I'm sure you can sell all this stuff for your money back. It's not a big deal. Alright, take care guys.